we're going to talk about the function which is the Fourier transform of a summation of delta functions in the time domain. And that is actually also a summation of delta functions, of course, in the frequency domain because it's the Fourier transform. So what is this function? Can we plot this function? Well, it's exactly the same as plotting a summation of delta functions in the time domain. So this function here it's going to have all of these elements from k equals minus infinity to infinity. Each one of those elements is a different delta function shifted by a different amount. So if we pick little k equals to zero, we've got delta zero. Uh, sorry, delta omega. So this is our plot here, p, j, omega. And for the zero, if we pick the zeroth element of this, it's a function. This function is a delta function, delta omega, which is zero for all values of omega except omega equals zero, and zero for all positive and all negative. So that's that function. That's one element of this summation, and it's a function. It exists for all values of omega. It's zero, then it's the delta, then it's zero. And the height is here given by 2 pi divided by t. So that's the element k equals 0. Well, what about the element k equals 1, for example? Well, k equals 1, this is a delta function of omega minus 1 times ws. So it's delta omega, so, that, so for k equals 1, the function is delta omega minus ws. And that's, in this case, often the sampling frequency. So this is a delta function which exists at the place where omega equals omega s. So this is a delta function here at omega s. And that function is, is a function. It is zero for all values of omega except for at omega s and then all other values. So when you add it together, you're adding to the previous delta function because the previous one was zero everywhere here and this one's also zero everywhere here. The answer of adding those two functions together is a function that's zero everywhere plus a delta there with a delta there and zero everywhere. And that's for the k equals one out of this element. Well, of course, it's the same for k equals two, three, four, and so on. You're going to have delta functions that are, so k equals two is a delta function at omega minus two omega s, and that is a delta function here at two omega s and so on. And of course, the same for negative values of k. So negative omega s and negative 2 omega s and so on. And this is what the function looks like.